Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Saturday and we're hanging out with the UEC. Special thanks again to the UEC for allowing me to watch these excellent events. Now we are at Nicodemus Heights. You're looking down from the high ground held by John Pelham. Jeb Stewart was over here the morning of the battle. This is where everything started. We are looking down on the Nicodemus farm in the barn area there. You can still see the Nicodemus farm as you travel down Route 65 these days. Now that's the Hagerstown Turnpike. They've kind of moved that around uh, for the park. If you look in the distance, you can see the Miller farm back there. So historically, this is the morning portion of the battle. Now this is private land in real life. You're not allowed just to go up here. I want to one day, I'm volunteering for Antietam. So hopefully I'll get some special access to see this kind of stuff. But we always know where we are on the battlefield here because the Muma farm is on fire and it's down that way. So to position yourself on the battlefield, if you were to look in this direction, that's the Joseph Poffenberger farm back there. Now over that way, that would be Samuel Poffenberger farm. You kind of see it in the distance over there beyond the trees. Those trees are of course the East Woods. That's the Miller cornfield that you see right there in front of you. The Muma farm in the distance on fire. That's the Hagerstown Turnpike. And if you go that way, you will see the position of the Union First Corps on the morning of the 17th. As a matter of fact, Abner Doubleday came up early to say, hey, John Gibbon, I know you guys just got here a few hours ago and your men are tired, but there's artillery right up in your face. You better move. And of course they did. 20th Georgia as well. I saw 20th Georgia. 8th Florida is large and in charge today. Lots of men. I like to see it. And they'll move up and down this road, trying to defend against the Union attacks. Never know where the Union's coming from. They already have artillery working. Go down here and check it out, see who we've got. First mass. So they'll be on the big guns today. As a matter of fact, these are three inch ordnance. Nope, that's a 10 pound parrot. That's also a 10 pound parrot and some Napoleons. So no ordnance there. I think they have those up here. These are Napoleons. I think these are the three inch. Yes, they are three inch ordnance. So that's a rifled gun, wrought iron. And you can see the union going through the woods to start this thing. Let's go with them. Hey, I like to see the flag goose. And the 6th Cav already getting up there, mixing it up. No surprise here. Parker and the boys like to get out there. But the Confederates are here in mass. Colquitt's Brigade holding the corner. Not enough Yankees here to push them off. Most of the rest of the guys stayed back on the fence line and in the rocks. There's the 88 New York taking a lot of rounds from the Rebels. And they'll come up close as well. Didn't work for the 6. Let's see if it works for the 88. And they'll pour into the corner. Sorry about the stream today, guys. I don't know what's going on with my bit rate. It sucks.
And the boys will defend. Looks like the first pass of the Union didn't go anywhere, but maybe it was a distraction. They do have a lot of men on the Confederate left. 20th Georgia. No, 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 I'm sorry. 20th New York. This is German Corps. 22nd Virginia in there as well. Ooh. Hang out with our German friends. You can see the rebels coming this way. Lord have mercy. What an accurate artillery round. And the muskets will do the rest. My God. I'll write your mama, boy. Only three of the German Corps left. And you can see they're quite concussed. Kind of moving around. Jack Stone's still alive. Kotzer, Stone, they're, they're, they're all just kind of... Hey, let's get this flag and get out of here. Let's see if they survive. You see them splitting up. Don't worry, they're only shooting at the flagman. <laughs> oh, Lord. They'll try it again. Let's see you get out of there, peace soldier. So as you can see, this is a hard position to attack for the Union, and the Confederates doing a great job so far. They do have Union breaking through onto the road, but didn't last long. More of the sixth. Fisher was alive, but he's dead now. And these guys are really doing a great job defending so far early in this match. Hey, the bit rate's coming back. Maybe we'll get back to a uh, a live situation here. That'd be great. I texted my son, said I think your game is killing my stream. So maybe he uh, maybe he was nice to me and he got off or changed games. Thank you, thanks, Miles. If you did that, appreciate you, buddy. See the eighth Florida coming around in quick time. You gotta love it. Marching like gentlemen, dying like men. They'll get an opportunity with that artillery out here today. People underestimate, but I'm telling you, the uh, artillery at Antietam, absolutely devastating. And with the big open wide fields of Antietam and the smaller woodlots, you can tell why there were so much, so many casualties, especially from the big guns. And speaking of the big guns, let's go get some shots up here. Maybe you guys need artillery shots for your videos that you're doing. Feel free to grab any of these screenshots you like. That's why I keep a clean stream so we can make cool looking media. Well, not sure what's going on with the stream. It's jack shit today, but we still got the recording, so I'm I'm recording it so that we can get the event in. Sorry for the terrible stream. I was streaming this morning. It was just fine, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Confederate Jelly. And the Union making a strong push. They want to get in behind them. This is a strategy for the Union player. Led by the German Corps. And you can see the Confederates getting in position to defend this position. And in the UEC, we don't use buildings. As you can see they will use the little shed here. They're not technically inside. Defended by Colquitts. These guys are all over the map. They were just up the hill a moment ago. Here come more Confederates, 8th Florida. You 
see the Germans, they want to get out of there, but this is the edge of the map. Uh, only two of them left. No, they came back all the way around. Now they're coming, coming back this way. But they are flirting with the edge of the map there. He's right on the edge here. Telling them, hey, don't go any further. This is the edge of the map. And the Confederate guns effective. Union now engaged. 32 minutes left in the match. Confederates ahead on tickets. That's not good. The Union's attacking. They get more tickets to attack. So the Confederate guns being very effective so far this afternoon. And I don't know French, but I understand charge when I hear it, and here they come. You see the fence already getting torn up from all the ammunition being fired. And they are running in to a breech loader. That Sharps rifle is awesome. They're breaking through. Here they come. We got more Confederates coming this way, and they want to put them between the hammer and the anvil, and that's exactly what they're doing at this point. 20th Georgia trying to hang on. Will they get help in time? They got their hands full with these Yankees right now. We got more Confederates coming up the hill, and they're going to hold. They're going to hold on. You see Jumbo doing it with a pistol. Well done by the Georgians. Holding on to that position without reinforcements, but here they are. They finally arrived. Colquitt's Brigade. You see what left of the French in the force there. And now the 8th Florida having mopped up the German Corps will come back over this way toward the point of contention. Absolute beautiful models. I've never taken the time to go to the Nicodemus farm. I'm going to do that, I think, next time I'm at Antietam. Uh, given enough time, I don't know. Um, there's a sign out front which makes me feel like you could go to the farm at least. I don't know. Oh my god, another major blast. The gunners in this game have gotten so good. Just like real life, you just cannot stay in one position very long or you will get blasted. Major Como, you see the guys trying to get prepared for the next assault. You know what, too? I wonder how far I can get over here. So if I'm standing at the Miller farm. This is really cool, by the way. So accurate. They, the guys talk about these hay bales, and there's an artillery piece setting out there now. Um, so if I'm here and I'm looking for Nicodemus Heights, it's that way. I mean, it's funny. I'm using this game to kind of get my bearings when I'm on the field. There's the Miller House. That that building is no longer here. Uh, neither is that building. This building is. The barn is still there. And now there's a commercial uh farm back over there so if i'm standing right here i've always looked for it over here but i think i'm looking too far south i think it needs to be up that way all right i'm gonna find it next time i'm out there i drove there's a road that leads back over here i drove around nicodemus heights i believe but you know it's not owned by the park service so you can't really you don't get you know any markers or anything like that yeah, to know exactly where you are why is he trying to shoot him you can see the uh, artillery just missing these big guns up on the hill. Oh my goodness, there's another one. Does it explode? Wow, did not explode. Got lucky on that one. Need to find the time to get a bunch of you guys together and shoot off all these guns up here. It would be cool to have just a whole team of people just shooting artillery. I'm not sure that you could actually do 
that with the game mechanics, but it would look cool for all the videos that we want to make, right? All right, and the Floridians will come back down the hill. The Union trying to put something together, and you can see it's going to be a big sweep on the Confederate flank again. This is a, a good way to attack this position. You can see the French Legion going to be the first to go in that direction. And they've got the spotters of the 88th out front. They're going to draw the fire, try to get the Confederates looking at them, and maybe they can sneak around. But no, they're not going through the woods. They're going to come straight to the center. They know the Confederates want to keep somebody up there on the top. It's Weber. Looks like they split the German Corps. Here come the 20th of New York. Maybe the 22nd Virginia back here. Yes, indeed. It's a good thing about having a corps like this is that you can split up your individual regiments as a, they were in a brigade. You can see the German Corps in behind the Confederates. But boy, that's a dangerous position in front of that artillery. And you see both sides engaged, but the Union is behind on tickets. 27 minutes left in this match. But it always makes you happy when you're looking at the back of your enemy firing your musket. And that's what they've got right now. And the Confederates respond by moving down the stone wall. Eighth Florida. Fritz saw him. He's going to deal with him. It looks like we're getting some sprinkles. It's going to start raining. Tears from heaven for all the fallen soldiers here at Antietam. And even more Union now keeping the pressure on the Confederate left. And here they go, crossing the road. Pilot, 6 New York. And boy, oh boy, they're getting right up. Hot and heavy on the Confederates. Here we go. And I didn't think it would take them long. See the flagman trying to get out of there. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> I love how the guys can talk to each other in game. He's still spawning in guys with that flag. Hilarious. Ambrose is like, what the hell? Just spawned in front of a whole regiment of Confederates. They don't want to let him get out of there. But Jackson finally thought better of it. Oh, they're still after him. Too bad you can't pick up enemy flags. I wish that was a thing. Maybe you could bring it back and get morale or something, you know? Oh, my God. The artillery, dude. And just listen to the effect it has on the real players. It really is jarring. More Union pouring in. I love this aggressive play. They're, they've they got to keep the pressure on them in order to put the units where they want them to be. But you can see they still have a large contingent up that hill, just not moving. Long range fire with the Sharps. I don't know if that's your best idea, but I don't know. They, they did knock down the flag and a lot of the German Corps coming across the field. So these guys know how to play this game much better than I do. And you see the close quarter fighting. Not unrealistic for this battle. They did this across the Hagerstown Turnpike later in the morning. But just not a lot of left of the 8th Florida. And the Union Assault is finally starting to pay off. They're getting some pressure here. They're getting some pressure. And this is going to be working to their advantage since they also have guys still on the flank. This is the... French Legion, and so now the Confederates are on their heels quite a bit. Will the Union take advantage? You can see they're already taken away that point of contention. I don't know if that's just decay. We'll soon see.
power of minus. the Union moving up and they're getting artillery in their face. You see them using the house as cover. Not in the house, just using the outer walls. And the artillery just making an absolute mess of these Union soldiers as they come in and approach this area. So the 8th Florida trying to deal with the French Legion here. Won't take them long to get the bayonet out, I imagine. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't Florida, this is Colquitz. Did Florida go back up the hill? I know we had 20th Georgia up here, 20th Georgia, there they are, Jumbo and the boys coming out, a lot of men this week. Man, they got a lot of guys. Here's the Floridians coming across the open field. Would you expect anything less? They're going to smash into the German core. Here we go. And you can hear it for yourself, those shots having effect. Now the Union taking losses. 21 minutes left in the match. And the Confederates are gobbling the point of contention back up. They've got men near it. And that's going to be Colquitz. They've really put some good angles on these Union attackers. And now the Union really have nowhere to go but the grave. Because running back to the Miller house ain't going to be too easy either. You can see them starting to break off and do that. 88th New York. Those rocks are a good location. I'm surprised a lot of people haven't really been in them yet. And the French, they are trapped, man. They are absolutely a rat in a cage here. See if they can get out of this. And you can see the Floridians back there looking for targets and onesie twosie, they're getting out and doing it. I wonder if artillery can shoot through houses on this. <laughs> or destroy them. I hadn't seen a house get destroyed yet or a ball go through it, but I imagine it would. So right now the Union, they do have uh, advanced units here. It's the French Legion. You see the boys wanting to get rid of that. Eighth Florida coming around the corner when they come. And the French really taking a, a beating here. Close range. Well, there's the huzzah. Both sides taking losses. I'd say the Union's coming back. You see they're a little bit behind on tickets, and here come the Floridians. They're going to clean that out. But the Union do appear to be making a comeback. They're still behind, but not as bad as they were. And, oh, boy, here comes half the Army across the field. Six New York pilot in the van. He's got more company coming with him. And you can see the defensive strategy that the Confederates are deploying here. They're taking different fence lines, trying to get angles. Colquitz is back. They're going to add a lot of firepower to this Confederate defense.
And nobody going through the woods right now. It looks like we might have a group going that way. But the 20th Georgia is still keeping a lot of men up the hill. You see them, they're starting to come down now. And that's what the Union's waiting for, so they can get a sneak around on that side, get up on that high ground and come down the hill on them. Don't know what's going to work, though. They don't have enough Union here, and this, uh, this attack is stalled at best. So let's go with the flankers. Let's see what they're going to do here. Small group. Jack Stone, part of the German Corps. This is 22nd Virginia. They're going to be right on the edge. Let's go with the Virginians. Our boy Morphosa. This is his unit when he plays. There's James Joker. Old Joe One-Eye. We know these boys. The musket man. Musket guy. Oh, excuse me. Big. You can see the Georgia song. And of course, Captain Jack Stone trying to find an angle to give his man good cover while still being able to put a little heat on the enemy. Right now, the Confederates can go anywhere they want. They've got a good, solid defense. You can see a lot of Union flags coming this way. They have not given up on the Confederate left, not yet. Although they have tried multiple attacks that have failed. And you can see, we still got guys up the hill. We got guys in the middle. That's gonna be Colquitt's. And then you're gonna have 20th Georgia up here on the high side. My favorite weapon in the game. Look at that thing. That sharps. I love that thing, dude. It's my favorite weapon. Counter march, so. Jimbo sees all the Union going in one way. He wants to give a little help, but still maintain that defense. Here they come again. They're going out to the flag. Now they're walking right over. They got their own damn flag. Don't know who that one is. Coming straight up to the house, and they're going to have Confederates right here on them. They just snuck around on them. Oh, my God. What a great move by the CSA. 8th Florida just sitting there waiting, set the trap. And I'll be damned if the, the French Legion didn't walk right into it as soon as they went to that fence for cover. They could see Confederates in front of them keeping their attention, and whammo, the Floridians come from behind the building to absolutely devastate that attack, and now the Union has lost half of their forward momentum. See the French not completely destroyed. They were able to get out of there. A lot of Confederates here. Now you can see a Union starting to try to sneak through the woods there. Will the Confederates see it and start going back up? They want to divide and conquer it. They want to spread out this Confederate defense and find a hole. Right now, they didn't go all the way up to the woods. They stayed in front of the 20th Georgia, but now they're starting to go that way. So let's see if they can do it. German Corps. See, Jack Stone not giving up on this position yet. He wants to take it to the high side, but you can see that, that flag, that Virginia flag going up the hill. That uh, means the 20th Georgia is going with it. You heard charge bayonets. They're going to charge. They want to meet them there, and they want to destroy them before they can get into a defensive position. Can they do it? Let's go. 20th Georgia is here. So Jumbo and the boys, heads up play, able to get there in time. And smash the attack from the German Corps. So a well-played defense for the Confederates all around this map. You can see now it's taken its toll on the Union. They're about to go to breaking. This is an extremely hard map for the Union player. Well, you don't see a lot of this one. It's 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 a lot of fun to play. 
the Confederates. <laughs> and I've seen uh, Union armies win this map, don't get me wrong, but when you've got a stubborn defense on units that really know what they're doing, it's hard to make any leeway on this map. You see Jumbo and the boys coming down to defend the corner. They got, they got guns that shoot uh, awful fast. So a small group can really hold off a much larger one. You can see right now, six New York, those poor boys just melting away to the guns of the 20th Georgia. Not fair, not fair at all. And they're gonna run for it. So, wow, a dominating performance so far by the Confederates. Less than 13 minutes left and the Union's breaking. Union, of course, want to get the Confederates breaking so they can take the point of contention and win the match. They've got less than 14 minutes to do it. And I don't know if the artillery has run out of ammunition, but you, you can hear the big guns have quieted down quite a bit. They're still fighting up here. They're still firing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So these are the Mormon battery. These are attached to the 8th Florida, the Mormons at Antietam, near the Piper Farm during the uh, mid-morning battle at the Sunken Lane. Those guys were sending cannonballs out against the Union. And the Union's starting to knock holes in this, this wall here at the point of contention. But right now, you don't see a lot of aggressive play out of the Union. They know they're a little bit behind. They're already breaking. They want to hit them with the rifle if they can to try to get those numbers down. If they can get the Confederates to breaking, they can come in and win the match. But they've got less, well, just over 10 minutes to do it. And right now, not looking good for the USA. Go ahead and throw it in chat. You think the USA can come back and win this one? I'm doubting it. But we'll see what they can do. Never count out the units of the UEC. They will always do something to surprise you. A lot of experience in this group. Pick it up, pick it up. Everyone's got it. Do some damage. Right, 
a massive Union assault that drew most of the Confederates up the hill. And it looks like they're doing it. They're going to hold this position. Wow. Man, they sent most of the army, but they came in as a string. And they burned them link by link as they came up the hill. Wow, what an amazing push by the Union. Just could not get it done. They did their best. You can see most of the 20th Georgia gone. 8th Florida had to come up here and clean it up along with Colquitt's. It was just about the whole Confederate Army. As a matter of fact, it is the whole Confederate Army. There's no Confederates anywhere else other than on the artillery. So it took the whole Confederate Army to do it, but they were able to stop the Union assault. And you can see now, almost down to final push while the Confederates are almost down to breaking. The Union almost have them where they want them. Almost. Not quite yet. You can see the Confederates still have a long way to run from spawn, but not a bad spot. 20th Georgia trying to get back over to their position. They sacrificed their lives to hold that spot long enough for the rest of the Confederates to get in there and defend it. So a great attack, a great defense, and the Union has to be frustrated at this point. They know this one's slipping away from them. I am volunteer Ms. Roxas. Can you please come with me? Uh, it like Sam, Sam, Sam. Follow the six. Follow the call. Okay, Thanks. come with me. All right, let's go. Uh, enemies on the bay. Better unit. 88, follow. Enemy in the west. All right, looks like they're going to try the same thing again. Let's see if the Confederates are ready. They're definitely all masked up in this spot. They're definitely going to be better off or more ready than they were the first time. Let's see if we can get to a spot where we can see this attack unfold naturally. See, the Confederates not waiting on them. They want to get as many kills as they can. Oh, this is a good angle. So we'll await the Union attack, and here it comes in two different prongs. Let's see if they can do it this time. See, the flag bearer lost his hat. And you can see in the background, the Union making a run for the point of contention. They've got the whole Confederate Army. They got all their attention on that attack. And the 22nd Jack Stone, they want that point of contention. They want it now. Union is breaking. And they're about to go to final push. Jack Stone wants to take it away. And this is a good time to do it. The Confederates are about to go breaking. This could be amazing if they can get them to breaking and take this position. But, oh, Lord, here comes Colquitt's Brigade. They want to have something to say about that. Final push. Final push for the Union. 220 in the match. And Colquitt's coming down. They don't want to let them take that away. And the German Corps are having to leg it out of there. Man, almost had it. Almost. But the attack on the top just could not hold the Confederates' attention long enough. Colquitt's able to come down and secure the point of contention. It's the two-minute warning. This thing's just about over. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. Another textbook defense by the Confederates. We still have Union up on the fence, but not doing much. <coughs> there you hear it. Now the Confederates are breaking. They are breaking. So now... 
If the Union can take the point of contention, they can win this thing, but they've only got a minute and a half to do it. I just don't think that's enough time. Just don't see how it's enough time for them to do it. Well played. Here they come, though. We've, some, we've seen some amazing comebacks at this map. I just don't know if they've got enough of a force to actually pull this off. Let's see. We'll go with the attackers. French Legion. I'll write your mama, boy. See, as the Union come across the field, it's just a shooting gallery. And the boys in blue. Falling at an alarming rate. Wow. Just out there getting killed one at a time. And this is going to be a pretty good defense by the Confederates, although the Union's not giving up yet. They're still up the hill. Jumbo's not going to let that stand for long. No, that's the 8th Florida. And that's it. A Confederate victory. Well done by the CSA. I appreciate all you being here for that battle. If you like that, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Until next time, my name's Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.